Hi, it's Sandra and welcome to my channel. I wanted to show you the results of one of the designs of this plate. And here it is. Now forgive the state of this finger, I still have some latex around there. But I think it's actually quite a pretty design. It's quite delicate and I've done this one by using a base coat of Mildew Beauty in a very pale pink. This one comes from Aldi. When you can find them, they're pretty good. They don't require a base coat or a top coat and if you do put a base coat, top coat and normal gels on top, they become extremely difficult to remove and I'm talking 20 minutes at least with acetone to take them off. So I would advise using those without other things on top. The one that I actually stamped with is a normal cheapy nail polish. This one happens to be by Vera Valenti. Uh, purchased from a Chinese shop and it is D36. And it's supposed to be a Spanish brand by the looks of it from Madrid. But as I said, it's actually pretty good stuff and it does very nicely for stamping. It's quite a thick polish. So if I show you that, there we go. You can see it's relatively thick and it has a lot of shimmer to it. So it's really quite a nice one for stamping. And I used the Born Pretty plate, which is L052. And the design I use is this one here on the left. And I used a Born a Pretty stamper as well. Now, I also used, obviously, the Born Pretty scraper. Now, the reason I wanted to show you this is because I found, along with some other stampers, it's one of those where the jelly part of it is inclined to sink if you're not careful. So what I've done is I've actually got some foam tape the double-sided foam tape, cut some very small strips and I backed it as it happens with a nice pretty um, sort of silvery looking vinyl. But you could use other things. Whoops, one of my pieces has come off. And so you can actually see better what it actually is. That's just to make it look a bit prettier. And I just cut them in small sections so they would go in between the little divisions that are on the side of the container. And then that stops that from sinking down too far and keeps it in position, which makes life a lot simpler. So that is the sort of colour that I started off with. This was in fact supposed to be a French fade, but it didn't turn out very well because I only had the pink in a gel polish. I only had a white in a normal polish and it's not quite right. I need a bit more practice on that, I think. But I thought you might like to actually see the resulting images that were stamped. So this finger, because I put latex around it, is a really easy clean up. And just rub that off. There we go. And that's a lot quicker than not putting anything around your nail and then doing a lot of scrubbing with soap and water and things afterwards. So there we go, just playing around. Nothing too drastic. It's very quick to do, but it's just a little fancier than a plain nail. Thanks for watching. Take care now. Bye bye.